Mortal John Hancock here, back with a new product review. The demand for Super Nintendo and Nintendo Classic games has hit an all-time high. The company Nintendo has even released two mini consoles, the NES Mini and the SNES Mini, this last couple years, and it's, it's super popular. A lot of other companies are seeing if they can cash in on the craze by releasing their own consoles that play old cartridges. Old School is a company that has going to be releasing a new console that plays both Nintendo and Super Nintendo all in one console. What's cool about this is it does have the aspect ratio switch, which I think is awesome, as well as it comes with uh, two controllers, a Nintendo and a Super Nintendo controller, to play some of the classics. I'm going to test some games with it. I'm going to give you my, my thoughts about, about the console. Let's check it out together. All right, so here's the packaging of the Classic 2 HD. And again, I want to mention that the uh, power cord to this console has not been finalized. So if you see, uh, see that in the packaging, it is not the what it comes with. Anyways, here we go. Let's open this up. And here we go. It's going to be in two colors. I like the Super Nintendo colors better. Black is the other color. That's just a preference of mine. Alright. Here we got the actual console. Pretty nice feel to it. In the front you can use original Super Nintendo and Nintendo controllers. You can use a Super Nintendo controller to play everything, which is what I'm going to probably do. Nice, it has uh, covers for the top parts. Keep dust out. Your NES and Super Nintendo Switch, and it's nice that there's a light indicating what's on with the reset in the back here. Very nice that it has an aspect ratio switch to 16.9 to 4.3. Power cord in. AV cables, and if you're wondering well, why did they include AV cables? Well, maybe you want to play this on a CRT. The other cool thing is that you can play light gun games using those. So that's kind of neat. And there's the HD port. Pretty cool. Kind of a cool design of that. I like that. All right. Comes with AV cables. Your power cord, which again is not finalized yet. Your HDMI cable. instruction manual, and two controllers. What's kind of cool is it comes with a like a dog bone controller for Nintendo if you want to go that route. Pretty sweet. I like the colors on it. It's got a pretty nice feel to it. And Super Nintendo controller. Not bad. You know, nothing beats the original first party stuff, but for, for third party controllers, not too bad. All right. Now it's on to the games. Alright, I'm going to showcase a couple different games in this video. For Super Nintendo, I thought I'd try Sparkster. It's a game that's a lot of fun. Uncommon. Definitely have to, have to see if Ninja Gaiden works. Again, I had another clone console that I did on my channel and it didn't work. And so I want to see if this one works. And... Of, we were probably wondering what this is. This is a brand new homebrew, Calix Gamer's second adventure, and it uses an INL board. And I want to see if it runs on this new unit. The other thing that I'm curious about, and it didn't say anything on the packaging about it, is will a Super Game Boy work? You know, that's kind of a cool feature if it did. It'd even be better if they advertised it. I don't know, maybe it doesn't work, but I'm going to try running Batman on. I'm um, using a Super Game Boy. Let's check these out. All right, I thought, I thought I'd try a more uncommon game. Let's try Sparkster. Again, I like the design of the console and the controller seems responsive. It's a fun game. I haven't played this in a while. 
and it's pretty neat to play some of these old classics and uh, not have to fudge around with worrying about hooking it up to modern TV, you know, just playing it, nice crisp screen. I mean, I just, I love that. I love that, you know, there's so many options out there to play newer, you know, play the classics on new TV sets. And I just, I think that's really neat. Again, I, I'm playing this and it's, it's, it's playing like it should. I mean, it's awesome. I need to spend more time with this game. Another classic. Maybe when I'm not doing reviews, I can sit down in my game room and play some games. Anyways, uh, yeah, looks great. Um, really happy that uh, this is playing well. Again, if you haven't checked out Sparkster, it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a great game. And as I predicted, look at that. It's playing the Super Game Boy. I had to <laughs> had to clean my card. I was I haven't played this in a while, but um, really really excited about this. You know, again. Uh, if you don't know about the Super Game Boy, the Super Game Boy allowed Game Boy carts, original Game Boy carts, to be played on your Super Nintendo on the screen. I always prefer, preferred to play Game Boy games on a big TV screen, and it's so cool. I'm really excited about this, that this is playing, and it's weird that they don't advertise that on the packaging. So anyways, uh, it's the first game I chose, Batman, if you haven't played Batman on the Game Boy. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. And the fact that it's playing is, and again, um, um, you can play all the games using a the a Super Nintendo controller. But again, this is playing great. And I'm super excited about this. And it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, again, uh, really neat to, to see that it has this feature as kind of a hidden feature. You know, I don't know if they, they couldn't advertise it or not, whatnot, but uh, I love Batman. Batman's such a classic on Game Boy. And the fact that it plays it, pretty sweet. I mean, because that adds like, I don't know, hundreds of games that it can, it can play. And so that's a nice, it's a nice feature. I don't talk about Game Boy enough on my channel. It's one thing that I really do enjoy. I enjoy the simple mechanics of a lot of the games. And uh, you know, it's, Game Boy has some such fond memories of my childhood we're playing the Game Boy. That was the console that I played as a kid. And so it's just neat to see that this plays. And it plays great. Alright. Plays Ninja Gaiden. This is Ninja Gaiden to me is like one of the all time classics for the original Nintendo. I love the cinematics that it did, the like, cinematic intro. So cool. Very excited to see it working. Again, I was playing on another clone console and it, it didn't work for some reason. And uh, here it is, working working great. Again, to have a, a console that can play Game Boy, Super Nintendo and Nintendo all in one in one shot. I mean, that's pretty neat. You know, it's not the Retron, the Retron 5, but it's also half the price. So, I mean, again, you know, if, if you're a fan of classic Nintendo, you have this clone console that essentially is going to play three different systems for 70 bucks. Pretty sweet. Have to have have to admit it's pretty nice. Played Ninja Gaiden in a while. But yeah, it's playing great. Really happy to see that it's firing up and running great. Looks great. What's this? A brand new homebrew? Why, yes, it is. 
Callots Gamer Second Adventure is going to be a new released game at the upcoming Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And a lot of people came together to make this happen. And super excited that it works on this console. And again, this is an l board, so that's why I wanted to test it. Uh, Infinite Nest Lives. It's uh, like a custom board. And it's, it's pretty neat. So wanted to see this working and again this is a one or two player game I'm going to talk more about this in an upcoming video and show the final packaging but I just wanted to see if, if the game works and it does and uh, yeah really happy to, that, that, that it's running and uh, great to see that and again I'll talk more about this game in an upcoming video I'm really, really happy and proud to, uh, to, to work with a team of people to make this game come together on physical card. And again, uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. And again, I, I want to say that I'm playing all these games with the Super Nintendo controller that came bundled with the console. And uh, it comes with a Nintendo controller, which, I mean, I guess if you prefer playing with a dog bone I guess on Nintendo but it's I, I would have I guess I would have preferred having two Super Nintendo controllers and then you can just play everything but I don't know maybe maybe it's just uh, for those people that are feeling uh, nostalgic and uh, they, they want to play with their Nintendo controller so there you have it what do you think I was pretty impressed by the performance of this Again, it plays PAL games as well with the region switch. I didn't have any to test it with at the time just because with the expansion I wasn't able to get to the darkest depths of my game room. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. So you can go to uh, www.oldschoolgames.com and you can find out more information. Again, it's available in November and it's going to be available at major retailers, Amazon and Walmart being the big ones. And it's going to be 70 bucks. Pretty cool. Thank you so much for people around the world who continue to, to view my channel. I'm humbled by the comments that I receive around the world all the time. Thank you so much. You folks are beautiful and wonderful. I'm still trying to upload three videos a week, getting back to my regular schedule of Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Hats off. Take care.